Welcome to another edition of SoCal Sense. I'm Jeff. And I'm joined today by the lovely and talented Anna Marie Dobbins. Welcome, Anna Marie. Thanks for having me. So today we're going to be smelling some work, office, fun, school, play, kind of things that work for any, any type of situation, whether you're in the office, whether you're at work, or whether you're at school, high school, or college. Those kind of like fun everyday scents. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> You ready for the first one? Okay, I'm ready. Let everyone know how you feel about this guy. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's nice. It's like it's like a lemon, it's refreshing, yeah. summer, crisp. I feel like I would pull for this in the summertime only, okay. but in the summer it would be a strong scent. So I'm gonna go for like a, I'll give it an eight. Okay. So I would pull for it, but it's not my go-to all year round type of scent. Okay. Now, the name of this fragrance is called Bright Leather. Does it come bright to you? Well, I said it was bright and summery, yeah, so I so feel like that's accurate. I don't get the leather, though. Yeah, I don't feel leather. Yeah, but it's fun. It is, no, it is. It's very summery. It's like out, like you're ready for like, you know, like a margarita on the beach. Cool. Great. Eight out of 10, Bright Eight leather. out of 10, there you go. The next one. Let everyone know how you feel about this one. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, this is sexy. Yeah. This is like noir, like I want this on a man, like a first date kind of scent. Okay. You know? Like if he wore this and then I smelled him, it like it, then it's like his scent. It's like a memorable type. Yeah, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna give this one like a, if a guy's wearing this, I'm gonna give it like a nine. Okay, so super sexy to you. Yeah, this is, this is nice. Now, could you see it in those type of situations? Because you mentioned date night, but could you also see it as like, oh, this is like his everyday scent as well? Or would you separate it just sort of the date category? Ooh, that's a good question. I would like it to be a date theme because I've learned that if you're doing a fragrance for a special occasion, then you have a scent to that occasion, like a memory. Yeah. So I like to have a memory scent. Cool, so you'd yeah. keep this as your date fragrance then. The date night, go for the date night. Awesome, nine out of 10, and this is uh, Carbon. Oh, Carbon, nice. I like it. Ready. You ready? <laughs> All right, the next one. Let everyone know how you feel about this one. This one's subtle. Yeah. This isn't as strong as the last guy, but I feel like it's not very memorable. Like it's, oh God, I can't, it makes me think of something, but I can't think of, what is that? It's a common smell. I know there's apple in it. Um, I don't get the apple. To me, it's like just super refreshing. Like. It is, it's very light. Which yeah. means like I feel like it's not a memorable like a date night piece that we talked about like it's a it's an everyday kind of smell not a bad smell Yeah But I, I would give it like a like a meh like a like a six like so and a half seven eh. it, it does so it smells good, but it it's like good. not memorable for you not memorable like yeah I if you're walking down the street, I wouldn't I Don't think I'd pick up on it well, at least you wouldn't think they smell bad. <laughs> That's true. Yes. You don't smell bad with this one, but it's not as memorable if you're going for that type of thing where you want to have a scent that's like in your face. You yeah. walk into the room and people are like, who's that? What's that smell? I love it. It's not this one, but it's a good smell. Right. So if you're in like sitting in a classroom, would you think that would be a great classroom scent because it is super light? Yes. Because then it's not overpowering over everybody else that has perfume or cologne on. Yeah. So I agree. It's There's a nothing worse when you're sitting in like, if you're in like a room and then you're like tight space and then someone's like the cologne guy yeah i can smell you from all the way and i'm stuck here for the next you wouldn't be that person 50 with this. hours yeah this is this is a good this is a good everyday thing yeah exactly for if you're a group setting or an intimate setting with people that you don't want you know to overpower them cool great this is uh coach open road coach open road open road open road it's awesome. very airy yeah it's <laughs> very airy that's literally the best way to put it so the first time i smelled it was probably like a couple days ago and it yeah. actually it's I found it super airy and I found it was just one of those things where I'm like oh if you were just if this was just your grab-and-go fragrance where you're just yeah. like you know what I'm running an errand 
Yeah. You'd smell really nice and you wouldn't right. have to really think twice about it. Exactly. I wouldn't wear it for a special occasion type of thing exactly. like we just talked about earlier. Yeah. But like grab and go or like yeah. sitting in a classroom, I, I think this is, you. people are going to think you smell nice if they smell you. Right. So. Or if you want to be intimate with someone, then they have, they have to get close to smell you. They do. That's why hugs are great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's this guy? Did I spray it? Yeah. I'm like, I'm but pretty sure I sprayed it. <laughs> I think it's from the from that one that was so overpowering, and then now it's like they're getting more subtle as they go. Would you like some coffee real quick? Maybe I need coffee. <laughs> Get it on my nose. Okay. Okay, I'm picking up. I'm getting like, like bubble bath vibes. Like you're wanting it in, you know, it's like an aromatic, is that the right word? Where it kind of, yeah, I, I feel bubble bath. I don't know why that's the, that's the go-to for it. I don't feel it. So it's, to me it's so, yeah. like this is like a clean fragrance. It's a very clean smell. Like, like clean linen, like you feel like you washed your clothes, you know, that fresh smell. Yeah. Which is, it's nice, but again, it's not an overpowering smell. I feel like it's not a memorable smell, but it's like you won't smell bad. Right. But You'll smell I, clean. Like You'll smell clean. Literally, you, this smells like you just like showered, soaked. Fresh linen. Freshly washed clothes. Yes. People will think you smell clean. I agree. Yeah, it's a very clean, good smell, but again, not a memorable, if you're wanting a, something memorable and like... So well, not your favorite so far. But, still not my favorite. But do you still like the smell? I like the smell. Okay. I don't love the smell. Scale of 10. Scale of 10. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this towards the bottom because it's not something that I would like- Gravitate towards. Or remember. So I'm gonna go with like a, like a four and a half. Okay. Cool. So. Yeah. Just eh. It's like eh. It's not bad, but it's not a, I don't, I won't remember it. Yeah. And that's the point I feel like. You want to be, you know. Have someone be like, oh. Where'd you get that? Johnny over there smells great. Yeah. Not, oh, Johnny smells like he has good hygiene. <laughs> Which isn't bad either. Which isn't bad, you know. Yeah, you want to, you know, be known hey, for having good, good hygiene. Good hygiene, way better than having a rank smell on you. I agree. Or too much. Yeah. Cologne. Yeah, there's nothing, see, to me, too much cologne or the you wrong stink. cologne is like, or just bad hygiene. Also, I feel like this one could be good if you know all about the body chemistry. Mm -hmm. So on someone, it might just pick up to be stronger on their actual scent. Yeah. You know, but I, it's just not one I would pull for or tell my significant, significant wow well, words, other to pull for. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Four and a half. For Four and a half. This is Prada Long Low. Let everyone know. That was an aggressive spray. I'm it was. It, it was. <laughs> it this is a really nice spray. It does. It really, which is what you want. I mean, yeah. if you're going to wear something, I want to wear it. Right. <laughs> I want it to be on me. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. It has a very fruity aroma, mm -hmm. but also I'm pulling like a smoky kind of smell too. So it kind of balances itself with the, the fruit, but also like a, a smoky, musky, scent. I like it, but it's also still very subtle. It's yeah. still not one that's very strong, but I feel like you could wear this another every day sort of thing. But also if it, if it's like you're, you're a dad and it's like you're picking up your kids from school, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, you don't want to like overwhelm your kids, but it's like, you want to smell nice. Maybe you're trying to pick up a PTO mom. I don't know. <laughs> but I also think, I, I also think like someone in school could wear it too. Yeah. Like, yeah. A, like a teacher. Like a teacher, you don't think like a, a college student could wear this? Oh, I forgot about them. Yes. Yeah. I was like, I, I totally think a college student. She's like, oh, hot teacher 101. <laughs> no, I agree. And this is also one of those that we talked about before, which is a group smell where it doesn't overpower, like if you're in a group setting. Right. Like it's not going to overpower everybody, but it's a good balance of fruit and smoky if you kind of like that, which I love like an earthy smell. 
And I think it smells pretty unique. I've never smelled anything like yeah, this. Yeah, I agree. That's why it's hard to really pinpoint exactly what it is because it's such a good combination and balance of two different kind of sides like of the spectrum. Right. Yeah. Cool. So, Scale of 10. Ooh, I like this one. I'm going to go with like, I'm going to go with like an eight and a half. Eight and a half? I think that's the highest I've said so far. Do you have a nine? Oh, I do have a nine. So this would be your second place right now. I agree. Yeah, second, second. But it's up there. Cool. This is called Atlantis. Mm. And I get like this like peach apricot with like, it has like a minty feel to it. And that's where you get like the smoke because there's sage yeah. in it. So I think the minty feel is coming from the sage. Yeah. And it's just different. I literally can't say I've ever smelled anything Now that you said like Atlantis, it. it takes me immediately to the Bahamas. Which is what their intention of it was. Which, which makes me think I'm in a white linen suit and I'm on a yacht. So, they did it for you. They did it. Yeah. <laughs> now that the name, the name also helps, you know, a lot of times it can help you envision where you want to, where yeah. you want to wear that fragrance. And that's how they, the marketed the fragrances. They, the concept was that tropical. They did it. Yeah. I haven't even seen the marketing and they did you're it like, with the name. You're like, I'm on a yacht. I'm on a yacht. All in white, rocking mm -hmm. Atlantis. There you go. And this is technically unisex. Yeah. I think it leans a little bit masculine, but I could totally picture a girl rocking it as well. Yeah, I love an earthy smell for a female, so I would personally wear this one. Yeah, cool. Awesome. Nice. I like it. The next one. Okay. I have to get an extra shake. I just feel like it's, shake, more, shake, shake. it's more dramatic if you do it that way. Yes. Mmm. Okay. This is definitely a stronger scent. This is, this I feel like is, but it's also more of like a common scent. Yeah. Like you, I feel like you smell this really often. Um, it does still have that clean kind of scent that you were talking about with the, like, yeah, fresh out of the shower, fresh linen. It still has that, but it's a little bit stronger to where it can transition into a date night. Right. So it can be your everyday, but it could be your date night. I can see that for sure. But I feel like because it's so common, I wouldn't, I, I'm not going to rate it high. Okay. Because who wants to be normal? So I'm going to give this one, it's not because it smells bad, but because I think he, there's more options out there that are more unique if you like that kind of thing, which I do. So I'm going to give it like a, I'm going to give it like a three. A three. So you don't like it at all then. It's just, it's just like my. Okay. Why? But do you think it smells bad? It's not that it smells bad. I get it. I'm giving it a three because, not the smell. Because. So how would you get the smell? Just the smell alone. I don't, I, I don't love it. Okay. I don't love it. It just, it's not doing anything for me because it's so common. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with my. Give it the three. I'm gonna stick with the three. Yeah, I am, I'm committed to it. All right. <laughs> it's weird. I actually like the scent, but I also think of it as like, it's just like a, go to work, spray it on, people are gonna think you smell nice type of fragrance. And you do, you accomplish that. But there's so many other unique things that I've tried today that why, in my opinion, why would you pull for that when there's so many other things that you can do the same thing and not smell like everybody else? Which is a cool thing to know too. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> you know what made me think of as like a high school, like very, like in high school, I feel like a lot of men wore that. So this is Polo Blue. Uh -huh. Guarantee someone in your high school probably wore Polo yeah. Blue. So this is the new one. This is Polo Blue Parfum. So when you would have been in high school, it probably would have been just the original Polo Blue. And okay. there's been like five since then. Okay. But it's um, still that, like, I, I've just smelled it a lot. Yeah. It, basically, Polo eggs. Blue created that. <laughs> Polo Blue created that trend of fresh out of the shower. It's considered yeah. blue fragrance. And blue fragrances are the most, like, popular because they're the easiest to wear. Ready for the last one. We're doing a bonus seven one today. We normally do six, we're doing seven. Ooh. Let everyone know okay. how you feel. I'm nervous. About the last one. Let's go. <laughs> last Extra but, shake. Last but not least. Okay, here we go. Or it could be least, who knows. Ooh. Oh, I like this. This is, is very, is, again, is it more of an earthy vibe for uh -huh. me? But an everyday earthy. But I gravitate more towards that earthy kind of, it's not sandalwood, but like, am I on the right path of like a, what's another woodsy smell? Like a sage? 
sage is herb, it is technically an herb. Um, <laughs> But I actually don't remember earth. what the, t the wood <laughs> is off the top of my head. There's sandalwood, there's cedar, there's yeah. all different types of... Yeah, wood. but it's giving me earthy notes. Like, okay. it's giving me that strong, earthy, this is like a bold scent. If you're, like, again, this is a date night. This is something I wouldn't wear every day. I wouldn't wear in a group setting because you're going to overpower other fragrances yeah. and other people and it, it clashes and it just could be a lot. But it's a good smell, that's why I like it, but it, it has to be on the right occasion, I feel. Okay. Um, so because I like it, I'll give it like a, I'll give it a seven. Okay, cool. So you dig this one? I dig this one. And can you see it in the work setting? Can you see it in the school setting? Can you see it in the grab and go type of situations as well? I don't, I, I don't see it more every day, like that grab and go, grocery store running errands, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Group setting, I think it's going to overpower people or, clash with a lot of different people's smells okay because it is so strong but it does smell good it makes me think of i don't know if, it, if you've been to the restaurant catch i have i don't know why this smells like catch maybe they expensive <laughs> smells expensive but um but you dig it i dig it i like it it's, it makes you uh, it gives you like a a regal like you know what you're talking about you're accomplished person Cool. <laughs> this yeah. is a uh, Ralph's Club. Ooh. Eau de Parfum. Mm, that's why it's the name. Yeah. Eau de Parfum. You have to say it like that. Eau de Parfum. Eau de Parfum. Cool. Uh, so we're going to let these dry out a little bit. We'll come back and then she's going to re-smell all of them and let us know if she likes it better, worse, or the same. Ooh. We're back. Speed round on the dry downs, better, worse, the same. Are you ready? Ready. Bright leather. Bright leather. Mm, about the same, it's still that fresh, citrusy kind of. Cool, still yeah. enjoy it? I still enjoy it, yeah. I don't get the leather, but maybe it came out in the dry down? It still, it-, it kind it of has, has a suede to me. Yeah, it, it still has that little bit of an earthier note. It's not completely citrus, so I can no. see where they're trying to get a leather or some sort of tone with that but I, yeah i don't feel leather but that feels like yeah. it'd be super heavy it's not heavy it's still very light yeah i've never actually smelled anything quite like this one either no this one's very nice this is a this is an everyday like good grow go to kind of cool so keeping that one the same yeah then we're going to your favorite which was carbon oh yeah i love this one this is like mm -hmm. this is like my top top, top. better worse or the same I think it's better. The more you wear it, I feel like it's like sinking in. So I can imagine this like with your oils of your skin, it's just going to wear longer and you don't have to, I feel like reapply with this one. Like this is like a one and you're good for the night. Cool. All right. Then we have, let's go. I'm trying to remember what order we went in. Can't remember. Here's proud of low. <laughs> yeah, ugh. I don't like this one now. Okay. This one's gone worse. So this was, you didn't really love it to begin with because it was like kind of just like the laundry, soapy, yeah, whatever like, fragrance for you. Yeah, now smelling again, going back to me liking the, the last one. Eh, it's not doing anything for me. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. All right, then we have uh, Open Road. Open Road. This one was nice. I think this is about the same as I did last time. Yeah, this was like your like, this in the classroom in a group setting where you're not going to overpower anyone but still smell like clean. Yeah, so this one I feel like compliments. What's the one I really like? Carbon. Carbon. So I feel like this one is like your everyday kind of carbon. If you're going for, if you like carbon, this is your everyday. And then you go for carbon for like a date night. Cool. But then you still have the same kind of, you know, realm about you. You're all in the woodsy kind of feel. Yeah. If that's what you like, which I like. Cool. <laughs> so did it get better for you then? I mean, I would say yeah, because I feel like it goes with the carbon. So I feel like it's a good pairing and we're going to bump them up there. Great. Then we have um, Polo Blue. Polo Blue. This was your least favorite on the opening. This one actually is settling down a little bit. And it's not as strong now uh -huh. that it doesn't have that like, it's not vinegar, but you know, like right when you spray um, perfume, it's like that. You get that alcohol. The alcohol. Blast. That's what it is. I think the alcohol is wearing down. So it is still, it's nice. So I'll give it, I'm gonna bump it up a little bit from last time, because it is nice. I think before the alcohol was very strong, so it okay. made it feel like. So you didn't really dig the opening, but you're 
okay with how it yeah, sounds. Yeah, so I feel like it would. I feel like it would wear nicely throughout the day. So okay, so you, you gave it a three before. Oh, I did. Yeah, you hated this one on the opening. I'm guessing it's going to be much higher than a three if you're digging yeah. it now. I'm going to put that actually like a seven. Okay, so it, honestly, so it basically, once you got rid of the opening, you actually like the scent. I do. I can actually smell it now. I think before it was such a strong alcohol mixed with cologne kind of smell. It just smelled, it smelled cheap. I think in the beginning. So now you enjoy it. But now I enjoy it and it doesn't smell cheap. All right, there you go. Cool, Polo Blue with a huge. Blue with the comeback. Comeback. Yeah. Then we have uh, Atlantis, which was your second favorite on the opening. This was your, the white linen peachy. Mm, this earthy. one's still nice, but I feel, you know what, I'm gonna bump it down a couple points and let me tell you why, because I feel this is one you're gonna to have to reapply throughout the day. It's going to not wear as long, which if you're okay with, that's great, but I feel like you're gonna go through a lot of product because you're gonna to have to reapply it because it's not a strong smell, but it's a very nice So smell. having worn it, it does last quite a while, but it is more of a skin scent. So it's more for like, oh, you're giving someone a hug. They're gonna smell okay. you. If you walk past someone, they'll probably smell you, but they're not, if I'm like standing off camera, you wouldn't be able to smell me from right. like, couple feet away. Right. So just heads up, that's how it wears. Yeah, so uh, I mean that's good to know because as it's wearing on here, you can definitely get the more, the sweetie smells are like coming out as it's settling. Yeah. So you, you get the, the pe it says peach and apricot, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do smell that, but it, good to know that it is longer lasting, so. Yeah, it just sits as like a second skin essentially, there but like a, a nice smelling second skin. Yeah. So if you give someone a hug, they're gonna definitely smell you and think you smell really good. It does smell really good. Yeah. Cool. So then last, did we do all of them? Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm missing one. Oh, yep, Ralph's Club. Can't forget Ralph's Club. Not the Ralph's Club. We always joke because we have a Ralph's grocery store in Los Angeles. That's and so it's really- where my mind went to. Right? <laughs> but it's like Ralph Lauren, right? Right. Yeah. <laughs> different, very different. This one's nice. I don't remember what I ranked it last time. You gave time. it a seven. I gave it a seven. I feel like it's gonna stay about the same because it's it's a very strong, still like present smell, but it's not your date night. It's it's the more of it your everyday. So I paired again with that carbon that I like. It's more of your every, everyday compared to the carbon and the what open was that? road. And the open road. It's kind of in that same field. Okay. For me. So hold that in your hands. Mm -hmm. uh, open road was your other kind of like your everyday. So mm -hmm. just let us know which you'd like better, um, oh. Rouse Club or Open Road. Or if you can tie them. If you think they're both great, just different smells, you can tie them as well. I'm gonna give them a tie because they're very similar. Okay. They're very similar. Now I've smelled them so many times. I like both, and I'm going back and forth. I like them both, yeah. These are, they're very, very good, like every day so, since. So, hand me one, I don't care okay. which one. The opening you hated of this one, so let's compare uh, Rouse Club to Polo Blue, just so people can get an understanding of how you okay. feel about Polo Blue compared to Rouse Club. Polo Blue perfume, I should say. You know, now that it's worn down, the blue, it's very similar, like it has, a, yeah, I think they're I think they're really close. I'm gonna give the Ralph's Club just a, a couple more points. I don't remember exactly what I said, but a couple more yeah. points higher than the blue because I think I'll just just because it's more unique. Yeah. Um, but the blue's nice. It's so crazy how it jumped from last to <laughs> I actually dig blue. I know it's really cool though. It's a, it's a nice thing to know that it changes. It does. And so we always say whenever you're testing a fragrance, like. It, you want to know how the opening smells because the opening will usually draw people in. Yeah. And then, but you're going to be wearing it once it settles for the most part. So. That's probably good why you get like a taster, to a taster, a tester. Yes. Don't taste it. Don't, don't taste <laughs> it. Don't taste it. But like a tester, like, right? It probably tastes horrible. Yeah. Yes. So it's always good to test your fragrances. Yeah. Just so you know how it wears on you and all that stuff because what wears good on one person might wear just okay on another person. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're really similar. Cool. Good job, Blue, for coming back. But Carbon is your favorite. Carbon's my favorite. You're the winner, Carbon. Carbon uh, Carbon did well for you. Carbon did well. Date night, special occasions yeah. that like spray it on, smell nice. Yeah, I'll have to tell my man. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. Be sure to follow us right down below, right there. Follow us. Uh, you have a Christmas movie that came out 
earlier this month on November what fifth? November fifth. November fifth. Uh, it's on GAC and what's it called? A uh, Royal Christmas on Ice. But they're gonna be playing it throughout the whole Christmas season. So if you didn't see it before, check it out. So you want to watch that fun holiday TV movie that you got all Christmas season to watch it on GAC. GAC.